U-A-M stands for what, Danaher? Uh, Uniformly accelerated motion. We have UAM equations. We can use whenever the acceleration is uniform. Class, there are how many UAM variables? Five. There are how many UAM equations? Four. If you know how many of the variables, Three. can you figure out the other? Three. And then you have one. Uh, no, there's usually more than one answer. There's no, and there's usually more than one solution. There's no real answer to what to get with one, but that's okay. We have uh, the UAM equations: delta x equals one half times velocity initial plus velocity final times delta t. The um, velocity final equals the velocity initial plus the acceleration times the delta t. We have delta x equals velocity initial times delta t plus one half times the acceleration times delta t squared. And velocity final squared equals velocity initial squared plus two a delta x. These are the UAM equations. Yes. Yes? Yes. Yes? No, there, there seems to be a conversation, so I'm trying to get into uh, the conversation. I was just asking if this is in section 2. I now introduce something I lovingly call U Fishy M, <laughs> which is much easier to say than uniformly angularly accelerated motion. U Fishy M. <laughs> Class, there are how many U Fishy M variables? Five. How many U Fishy M equations? Four. How many variables, U Fishy M variables will you need to know Three. before you can figure out the other? Three. And then you have. Yeah, I don't, again. <laughs> but notice U Fishy M works in the exact same way. If you have a constant angular acceleration, you can use the U Fishy M equations. The first of the U Fishy M equations is this. Delta theta equals one half times omega initial plus omega final times delta t. What is the second of the U Fishy M equations? Who will be? Um, omega final equals omega initial plus Fishy um, change of time. What is the third of the U A M or U Fishy M equations, Aaron? Um, the third one would be. Delta theta equals um, omega initial um, delta t plus one half a delta t squared. A? A fishy. A fishy. No, just fishy. <laughs> times t squared. Times delta t squared. The final u fishy m equation, J. Um, uh, omega final squared equals omega initial squared plus two times fishy. Uh, <laughs> Changing. <laughs> these are all boxed equations. So these are, you will get all these on a quiz or final exam. Please, when you use these equations, use radians. It is not 100% true that you need to use radians all the time, but it is most of the time correct. And I have yet to come across a time when you uh, should not have used, or when you, when you could not have used radians. So please use radians when you use the U Fishy M. Equations. Please give me all five U Fishy M variables. Totally. Um, omega initial, omega final, um, delta t, fishy, <laughs> <laughs> and uh, change in the data. Change in the data. Just to make sure we understand, omega initial, the omega stands for what, Ashray? Um, the uh, angular acceleration. No. That's why I'm going through it. I understand we know the symbols, but we also need to know what they mean. This is not angular acceleration. Pooja, help them out. Velocity. This is the angular velocity. Speed. What is alpha, fishy thing? That's the angular, average angular acceleration. Good. And what do we call delta theta? What is delta theta's name, Adam? Change in angular position, but that's not a specific name, Benedict. That's another way of saying it, but usually we refer to it as change in angular. It's just like delta x, only it's angular displacement. Angular displacement. Okay, so delta theta is angular displacement. Again, in order to use your fishy m, 
a fishy thing, angular acceleration is equal to a number. You have a constant number for your angular acceleration. And if you know three of these, you can find the other two.